Inflation has risen significantly in the past year on both demand and supply factors, including the energy shock. To tame inflation, major Western central banks, in particular Federal Reserves, have embarked on an aggressive tightening path. This has resulted in notable increases in the global interest rates and the capital outflows from emerging economies. China looks to be the more resilient one in this global context. It has low inflation pressure domestically, its growth is recovering. But there is still downside risk coming from the zero COVID policy. But nevertheless, the economic policy is in an easing track. India looks to be more vulnerable, its inflation is elevated, it has both current account and fiscal deficit that makes it exposed to the external capital outflow risk. Korea and Taiwan are also somewhat more vulnerable given its sensitivity to the recession risk in the West. So to summarize, while Asia is not immune to the global headwinds of rising inflation and bond yields, some economies in the region are more resilient than the others. The rebound in Chinese equities since the end of April in a context of global equity falling is a reminder of the benefit of diversification, the only free lunch in investment. China equity went up by nearly 20% since a year low when the rest of Asia was falling by 10%. In our opinion, this divergence is not going to go away until we see financial conditions in the US easing and the S&P stabilizing. China remains the core overweight in the region. That is not only a story of earnings improving, undemanding valuation, and internet regulatory tightening picking. Chinese listed firms also lead in an increasing number of growth sectors, for instance, the green transition stocks. Other large markets in the region, including Taiwan and Korea, more sensitive to the global growth slowdown and the strong dollar, remain vulnerable. We expect their contribution to Asia earnings to shrink. In Japan, we expect the focus to shift from the yen to domestic policy. Post upper house election, another fiscal package the place of the nuclear industry in the electricity mix and borders reopening create investment opportunities. <laughs>